Here's how we take care of Nepenthes pitcher plants. First up, they're gonna need very bright light. So you, as long as it's above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, you can leave it outside in full shade. Otherwise, when they're indoors, they're gonna need a very wide view of the sky. They need extremely bright light to do well. No need to wait for the roots to come out of the bottom drainage holes to repot. These guys don't have extensive root systems, so it's best to repot these every two or three years just to refresh the medium. Uh, it can kind of break down and leach bad stuff into your soil if it stays old. Speaking of soil, they don't actually go in soil at all, so absolutely no potting soil is going to go in this, okay? No potting soil. <laughs> I like to use a one-to-one -one ratio of long fiber sphagnum moss mixed with orchid bark. When watering, it's best to use reverse osmosis, distilled water, or rainwater, and keep the soil wet. It shouldn't be sitting in water, but every time that topsoil dries out, give it a really good soak. Pitchers are always gonna be living and dying on this plant. It doesn't go dormant, so pitchers, after they consume a certain amount of nutrients, will die off. There's some new growth right there. I like to miss those as they come out to increase the humidity. That will increase the likelihood of them pitchering. Old pitchers will die off, like I said, when they get about halfway dead and the bugs can't get in there anymore, we just give them a little snip, like so, to um, make the plant more uh, attractive. I fertilize with a foliar uh, liquid soluble fertilizer throughout the spring and summer months.